If you're new to the area coming to town for a visit or thinking of moving to Carmel Valley, this video is for you. What's up everyone, Toby Fernie, local realtor here, and I will be showing you some footage of the beautiful and peaceful setting that is Carmel Valley, along with providing information all about Carmel Valley, the cost to purchase a home, things to do, and recommendations if you're thinking about moving here or even coming to town for a visit. This channel has over 100 videos, so don't forget to hit the like button on this video and subscribe to Living in Monterey, California. If you're a buyer looking for your dream home or a seller wondering the value of your home in today's market, be sure to give me a call, send me a text or an email and let me know how I can help you reach your goals. All right, let's start by getting to know Carmel Valley. Carmel Valley is an unincorporated part of Monterey County made up of just under 6,000 residents with a median age of 58. Carmel Valley spans a very large portion of Monterey County, around 190 square miles in total. If you're driving to certain parts of Carmel Valley like Keshawa Road or Lambert Flats Road, you can get pretty rural and far from downtown Monterey. It could take you well over an hour to drive from one end of Carmel Valley to the other, so it's quite different to other parts of Monterey County like Marina, Seaside, Monterey Proper, and Pacific Grove, which are much smaller in comparison to the total mileage but have higher populations. Carmel Valley has a unique climate and terrain here in Monterey County, so if you're somebody who's looking for slightly warmer weather, mountain views, and to be more remote rather than being near the coastline and near downtown Monterey, this could be the perfect place for you to live. As the terrain is often slanted, quite a few houses in Carmel Valley were built on elevated foundations with pillar and post. Many of the neighborhoods and streets are elevated through the Santa Lucia mountain range and often have shared driveways or access points to Carmel Valley Road. While plenty of homes in Carmel Valley have large lots with acreage, there are just as many homes with smaller lots or properties that might not have that much usable land. There are a few different areas and parts to Carmel Valley, and the further that you go away from places like Carmel, Carmel-by-the-Sea, and Monterey, the more rural the properties tend to be. The village is one central part of Carmel Valley, and this is where you'll be able to find several restaurants, a local market, the two gas stations in Carmel Valley, plenty of wine tasting rooms, and the locals' favorite bar, The Running Iron. I tend to find that in Carmel Valley, in comparison to other parts of Monterey County, homeowners will stay in their home for a longer period of time. Couple that with the fact that there are not many residents and homes in Carmel Valley, there are often not too many homes for sale on the market in Carmel Valley. At the time of making this video, there are currently 28 homes for sale. Prices range from a $600,000 home out on Keshawa Road to an $8,950,000 property with 224 acres. 11 of these properties are listed for over $2 million and the median list price of these 28 homes is $1,750,000. If you look at the properties listed for over $1 million, every single one of these properties has at least one acre associated with the lot with a median of 10 acres. This shows that there are quite a few homes for sale with large lots and acreage. However, not all of these properties with acreage will the land be usable. Not always the case, but it tends to be the more usable land that you have and the closer to either Carmel by the Sea or Carmel Valley Village the home is, the higher the price tag. Carmel Valley is an ideal setting if you enjoy the outdoors, peaceful settings, and nature. There are plenty of great hikes, such as Garland Ranch. The Carmel River has several nice trails that run through Carmel Valley as well. Monterey County is one of the largest producers of wine in the state of California, along with Napa and Sonoma counties. The climate allows for Chardonnay and Pinot Noir grapes, but Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot are two of the most popular wines in the region. There are so many tasting rooms and wineries in Carmel Valley, such as Bernardis, Holman Ranch, and Joyce Wine Companies. One of my favorite spots to have lunch on Sunday and a glass of wine is Folktale Winery and Vineyard. As would make sense with the climate, there are several nurseries throughout Carmel Valley if you're looking to purchase plants, 
Rana Creek Nursery is one of my favorites as they have a nice variety of plants at affordable prices. If you're looking for a place for relaxation or interested in joining a club with activities such as golf and tennis, there are plenty of options in Carmel Valley, such as Carmel Valley Athletic Club, Carmel Valley Ranch, and The Preserve. Cafe Rustica in Carmel Valley Village and Lucia Restaurant at the Bernardis Spa and Hotel are two of my favorite restaurants if you're looking for a nice place to grab dinner in Carmel Valley. If you're looking to see more of Carmel Valley and have additional information on what it's like to live there, click the subscribe button and check back as I will be doing a video on the pros and cons of living in Carmel Valley and also comparing Carmel Valley to Big Sur. If you have any questions about living in Carmel Valley, are a buyer looking for your dream home in the area or a seller wondering the value of your home in today's market, be sure to give me a call, send me a text or an email at toby.ferny at gmail.com. Like and subscribe. Stay tuned for future content all about real estate and living here in Monterey, California. Click the icon to subscribe to more content from living in Monterey, California.